Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm Piglet here once again. And I'm Mickey Mouse here. We are back for once again from the Muxy Toys Productions on the YouTube channel so far. Anyways, welcome back to more as play of Sonic Adventure DX, or Sonic Adventure, if you will, for the sake of Dreamcast, Nintendo GameCube, um, Xbox Live Arcade, PlayStation Network, PC, and Steam version. So yeah, last time that we actually fully completely done with um, Tales of Story, and now we're going to continue on and proceed to the next story, which was, if you could tell from the title, so you probably guys already know, and that is the Red Echidna himself, Knuckles the Echidna. So yeah, the, um, the returning character, playable character-wise, from episode Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, let's go! So yeah, let's, um, let's get started. So well off the bat though, it did actually showcase the Angel Island, very similar to how it does in Sonic and Knuckles, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles if you will. As far back as I can remember, I've been living here on this dark island, always guarding the Master Emerald from anything that could harm it. I don't know why I was given this job, why it was my fate, destined to be here forever. What the? What's going on here? Oh no! Something's happened to the Master Emerald! Huh? Who are you? Did you do this? Oh, I'll get you for this! No fair! Wait! What's happening to you? Come back here! Whoa, that was incredible! I've never seen anything like it! Oh no, it's starting to happen! Without the Master Emerald's power, this whole island will fall into the ocean! And yeah, without the Master Emerald's power though, the whole island will fall down to the ocean. It's up to me to find the missing pieces of the Master Emerald. It won't be easy. Pieces flew off everywhere. Guess I'd better start looking anywhere I can. Okay, so how it works for Knuckles then, when it comes to compared to Sonic and Tails, though, he will be pretty accurate with how, how acrobatic he is, just like how he does it in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, that he can actually just do glide, just like how he does in the 2D days, and also he can actually climb on walls and stuff, so even then though, he can actually just to reach up into higher places and stuff. And also the new ability for Knuckles that he doesn't usually have in the 2D uh, days, that he can actually perform to himself his punching attack. Which he, all he can do is basically, every time when you press the action button, or the B button if you will, that way you can punch some things. Like for instance, we bust out this cage here, or the fence rather, so that way it will actually lead us to the first stage in the Knuckles' story, Speed Highway? Wait, we've already been there before since um, Tales' of story at the very end. Although, gradually though, we're actually in a different location since um, the third and final segment for Sonic, so I think the reason why how our Knuckles usually goes travel for this particular section of Speed Highway, because usually speaking of such though, originally they're trying to make him go all the way in the speed of sound. But anyway though, so 
As far as the gameplay mechanics of Knuckles the Harbor, he plays sort of similar to Sonic and Tails though when it comes to controlling method, but the uh, the actual ultimate goal for this is pretty much different compared to how it does it for Sonic and Tails. Uh, Round end is to actually race towards the city on the finish line until you actually um, move on to the next level. Instead, the entire premise of this level is to actually find the ultimate goal for this is to actually find all three of these uh, missing pieces of the Master Emerald, and every time when you collect one, that it might actually act out as a checkpoint system, basically, for Knuckles, because every time when you die, then you respawn onto this cell's respawning point until you actually find yourselves the pieces of the Master Emerald to begin with, so... The catch is, though, is that, again, as you probably can tell, is that you need to actually find all three of these pieces, and if you do, the level's completed, though, so... And also another thing you have to keep on track on is the radar. Basically, every time when in this in this case, as you can see on the bottom middle po middle po bottom part of the screen, that sometimes you get also radar indicator so that it tells you whether you're actually getting closer to the other the piece of the master emerald, or even if you actually get too far away from what have you. If you get too far, it actually indicates the beeping of the blue colored uh, master emerald piece. And also, if you get the, when it says green, this means you're almost there. And also also, the, um, the yellow, which means you're getting slightly closer, and then when it goes to pink, you're almost barely close, and then the, red, um, the dark red color means you actually onto it, so... Another thing is kind of helpful for you, if you actually get yourselves lost or tracking, that way you can actually talk to Chukal Ball to actually tell you where the, uh, the pieces of the Master Emerald is located, so... Even though right now we seem to get lost track going on the dog. Even though we'll just have to check on this peculiar area here. Although, kind of think about it, I think we're usually being like an idiot right now because I think we haven't sort of played around with the treasure hunting levels for quite some time now, so. Okay, quick go right there, because I have to actually restart on this, and it looks like we ended up finding the third piece of the Master Emerald, and boom, there we go. Oh yeah, one thing you might actually know something is that every time when you actually try to um, use the reset arm, or in this case the restart option, unfortunately though, you lose a life after doing so. So, technically the first step of the playthrough, but um, that's a little bit of annoying and consistent. But anyway though, so that concludes Speed Highway. Well, usually speaking as such though, unlike Sonic Adventure 2 um, treasure hunting levels, is that I don't find these um, treasure hunting levels to be un as intrusive from um, this peculiar uh, levels themselves in Sonic Adventure. Although the only one I found a little bit too trouble with at, at one point, it was actually the final stage of Knuckles, but we'll get to that eventually. But for now though, much like in Tails, that um, everything's only nighttime at the moment, so even then though, the next thing we need to do, before we actually do it this, however, um, if you actually be approached into this peculiar door over there, this will actually lead you to the child garden over here, so it also does that in, this, um, in the Dreamcast version of this as well. And what basically what the child garden can do is that it feels basically similar to the likes of Pokemon, like you could actually just about to um, feed the other child and just uh, raise their status and all that kinds of stuff. And yeah, that's actually kind of a cool idea. But anyways, now we move on to the second stage for Knuckles, and that is Casinoopolis. And we ended up in this peculiar, um, room, which was, uh, we haven't seen this room for quite a while since, um, Sonic's story. But except the fact that we, I don't think we can actually deal with the pinball machines this time around, because instead, that is, you probably expected that we're actually going to be looking for the remaining pieces of the Master Emerald, so... You know, that's all that was usually can go, so... Yeah. Sometimes though that the pieces of the Master Emerald can be slightly placed randomly. It depends on if you actually revisit some of these levels like this. And then, this was before when Sonic Adventure 2 came around, when they started to actually add in the harder variations of the levels themselves to actually find these last three pieces of the Master Emeralds themselves. So yeah, that's all there is to know. So yeah, um... One thing we need to mention is the fact that they, um, it does have, you know, three different sort of missions to actually just to deal with from Knuckles' treasure hunting levels. The first objective was obviously find all three of these pieces of the Master Emerald, and that's all there is to know. However, the second mission you're going to have to deal with, well, the level B type missions, is the fact that you need to actually find all three of these, um, pieces of the Master Emerald without using that hinting, uh, glowing ball. Which, um, if you somehow accidentally just unleash saying this way, then mission failed. Well, at least the level B. 
But the third and final mission for um, at least in one of these treasure hunting levels, or in this case, uh, level A um, type missions, um, that way it will actually lend us that um, help the fact that um, you can actually find all these three pieces in, um, in a certain amount of time. So certainly, just like how it does in Sonic's um, level A type stages, but I digress. And we finished Cusinoopolis, so even then though, we don't have many sense of confusion there. And much like Sonic and Tails though, however, we get interrupted by this old Chukal Ball thing. Where in the world am I? I don't remember being here before, but something about it is familiar. Hmm, this is very strange. So most like it tells, we ended up in this area right here, which is a echidna tribe um, temple. And however though, there's actually things you can actually mess around with in this peculiar area. However, um, you don't actually revisit to this world until a couple of times. You only go to revisit so many segments at least once. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Knuckles is the only one that he can um, barely reach up all the way up to the top. Although, I don't know about Sonic though. But we did test it out with Tails, but it's never gonna work out. So, and even then though, we actually glide onto on top of the, on the entrance. And drop down. The seven emeralds are essential to our survival. It is for the good of all our people. How can I make you understand? Attacking other countries, stealing and killing can't be the right path to peace. No one has the right to take their holy grounds. I beg you, Father. So for that character right there, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be, um, Chukal's father. Yeah, it's true. Huh? Now where am I? Back in Station Square, I see. What's going on here anyway? And as usual, if we finish the Casinoopolis level, that time um, we see Cream the Rabbit. And speaking of such though, there's Sonic and Tails. I'm guessing this is after when um, Eggman managed to stall the second Chaos Emerald from those two. And I'm pretty sure they managed to, um, he managed to use the, uh, the um, poisonous gas to actually just to manage to let them go sleepy. Or even um, sleeping gas, if you will. So let's just go and investigate in this hotel. you got there? It's gotta be a part of the Master Emerald. Hold on! Come back here! So Eggman is apparently on the right side of this door, because um, unlike in Sonic and Tails though, however, those two characters does not enter this room. At least Knuckles, he's the only one he can enter. Eggman, give me back the Master Emerald. No, Knuckles. Oh, this isn't what you're after. <gasps> you're right. That's okay, though. I can use you as a guinea pig to test it. Chaos! Chaos! Chaos? It's that creature again. The same one I saw on my island. He was there when the Master Emerald shattered. I'm sure of it. He saved me the trouble of looking for him. Now I'll get him good. <laughs> Way to go, Chaos. Huh, changing shape won't scare me. Shot. 
Alright, so here we go with the new type of um, Chaos boss fight, and now it's the form of Chaos 2. The first time we're actually going to be beating the, uh, the likes of Chaos 2, but only Knuckles can only access to, because... Again, Sonic and Tails doesn't usually access to the dining room because Knuckles is the only one that he does not able to actually get um, sleeping gas by the likes of um, Dr. Eggman, so... Nice little dining room, by the way, as far as the looks of it, though, anyway. So, yeah, and basically this is actually the first boss fight for Knuckles. And basically, for this, uh, in order to actually deal the damage off the Chaos 2, it's pretty simple. Basically, although it's kind of more likely equivalent to Chaos 4, but not nearly as long as um, Chaos 4, I don't think. But basically, what you do is pretty obvious. You just gotta have to, like, dodge this little bouncy ball ability, which he manages to use. And also, judging by the fact that um, as soon as you actually finish this form, then it's your turn to actually attack him from either punching towards him or gliding into him. Is that I think gliding is the best option for me because obviously it just makes it a lot more easier just to hit him. So, there we go. Chaos 2 has been demolished. Well, at least for the time being, though, anyway, until the latest forms. Wow. So, what have you won this time? You have yet to see the true powers of chaos. Yeah, yeah, that still doesn't faze me, you hear? I know something that might. It's about Sonic. What? What about Sonic? He's after the pieces of the Master Emerald too. What do you mean? You're not the only one on a watch, you chase idiot! Why should I ruin your surprise? <laughs> I wonder what he meant by that. I'd better find Sonic. This might be a little bit weird, but after when we exit out this room over here, then we still ended up in a hotel section in Station Square, and then it just goes black south, means that we'll cut to a chase. To Mystic Ruins. I wonder why Sonic is after the Master Emerald. I'd better work fast and get to the bottom of this. Okay, so now we ended up in Mystic Ruins, and it did actually skip out the, um, you know, the explosion of this little, um, cavern section, so... In this case, we we're gonna have to sort things out first, because we're about to be entering towards in this little cavern right here, and then we can actually approach into this little, um, door thing right over there, and as soon as we- Oh no, don't tell me we're trapped. Oh, dang it, we're trapped! Damn you, monkey. Damn you. Oh, we have ourselves the first upgrade for Knuckles. And which one is it going to be? I think this might be Shovel Claws. You've got the Shovel Claw. Now you can dig through dirt and stone. Press the jump and action buttons simultaneously. Okay, so the Shovel Claws then, it's basically more likely a digging um, ability, which um, this allows you to actually dig through dirt. So, or even ground as a, as a result, like that's why it demonstrates as you can see this little Eggman's face is constantly popping up and popping down. And basically, every time when you're actually trying to dig through the ground and stuff like that, this means you get yourself some random items. Like, for instance, the most important item we got is the Monkey Destruction Switch. If you actually pick it up, then it will actually switch off. And if you actually put it down, it switches on, so... Pretty, uh, weird, this little, um, item. But well, this is really useful for the plot element, but anyways, though. So, well, guess what's how to end things off here, so, um... Yeah, join us next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX, or Sonic Adventure, if you will. This is the fact that we move on into the next level and find the remaining pieces of the Master Emerald. So, see you guys next time. Later, fellas.